Somebody help now. me! Help me! Help. Take down the brothers now. Uh, Next bounty. Like, why me? <laughs> what we got? Why? Why Dr. Me? Giblet. At night, coyotes be on me. God, please, don't Girl. let it turn me. All right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Plug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlion. Oh shit, another Gatlion! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. This month at Grizzy Felsen's Joke Hole. Hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately. And... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene. God, he made me laugh so hard. I'd go back. I don't think the community is very funny, but uh, I did really... Hello again. Okay, so we gotta talk to... So I'm confused. So we gotta talk to these... Ah, our first suspect. We had to find out if they knew anything about Dr. Giblets, but they weren't going to make things easy for us, see? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's Misudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. Uh, wait, I'm really doctor. sorry. I don't know who that is, but <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. What? Why do you care? If you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. All right, she don't know nothing. All right. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh, well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Uh, she don't know nothing. Oh, oops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of Detective Mode. Oh my God. So there's Black going to be ads. Zombies. You love ads. This will be worth it, I promise. Hey, over here. Widow with the talking gun. I'm the Here's what's up. My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted <laughs> to hear when you walked over here. You want it cum or what? I mean this sincerely. Do we look like the kind of people who want to buy alien cum? I'm really just trying to learn about myself. Sure. Look, I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me. But they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographics. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious alien cum. Oh, yeah. Every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no, oh my sir, goodness. it truly does not. I just want some a Okay, you saunter away. I wasn't saying nothing. Stop right there, Slick. We're looking for Dr. Giblets. You're gonna help or what? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. Quit the, the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? I don't 
don't know and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else or can I fucking go? What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton and what I do is tell you to fuck off. How you doing? Like, with doing? your weird <laughs> interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my censors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. Look at me, I'm flying! Yo, 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 what's up? What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? I'm happy to answer. I would just like to know why first. It's just important to me. I love finding out what everyone's favorite flavor of ice cream is. So, what is it? What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Chocolate. Interesting. Hmm. I'm never going to forget this. <laughs> it's going to be really important later. I'll tell you that much. Thank you. Thank you. Sincerely, thank you. Our pleasure! Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hey, listen, uh, if you find a drum anywhere, my buddy Globo here, you know, he'd really love one. He's great. He's a good drummer. And I think it would help him. You know, he's a good musician. I think it would... He, trust me. It'd be worth your time. Oh, we love drum music. We're gonna help you out. I promise. Hey, sorry. Yeah, no, he can't talk. He just sort of makes that noise. It's a nice noise. I really like it. Okay, so he's a booty hole. All right, uh... Song. You look cool! Oh, uh, sure. Okay. Uh, I didn't crouch. What's this about, can I ask? Crouch. I, can't, I guess I said crouch. Uh, you. You said the bro. <laughs> Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. It's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Wait, so I got okay. Holy Dr. shit, Blurter. wow. Okay. You, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woohoo. That was an A rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blow oh, and in. mention oh, Michael the Taint. Man. Okay, the full man. Okay. Chef. Hi, Blordo! We're looking for Dr. Giblets. Can you help? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. Oh, did we do something wrong? Sorry, should we not ask about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, Buster. Let's go! Oh, look at piece of shit! I'm gonna kill him! Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here! If anyone sees me talking here, I'm dead! Understood, sir. Yes, sir. Gotcha, gotcha. Great, appreciate it. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detective! That was an okay, S-rank interrogation! Any in your nose, people say. Hey, there's my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want tricks like you hanging around. Those guys are fun. <laughs> Still messed up, huh? The night was getting longer, but Hey, we heard you 
around asking around for giblets. Yeah. When you live in the darkness like me, yeah. you make a whole lot of ass. It's just the life of a detective. I knew I shouldn't have joined such a weak gang. But you won't kill us. So you gotta kill guys. This place, it's, it just feels weird. Another way is somebody fucking sniping at us. I'm in a tea bag. Kill. 
Right, finally! Open the hot seconds! Somebody, if you don't die, be my pet blower. Hello again! I'm pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Uh, yeah, no shit. That's what that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Who looks at Hello, you know. Uh, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Derek. Uh, I'm gonna be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, that makes sense, right? That does that sound okay? I'm I'm new here. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 Midnight Lunch, and we literally just opened, so uh, i only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Are you using Hyperbond? Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was a, uh, well, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Uh, all right. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. Uh, I see you. Hey, you know something? Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? No, I'm trying to find doctor. Oh, man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I, I'm, I'm kind of a fuck-up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. Okay. don't really know where he is. What? I told you, at? I have no idea where he is, and you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Ooh, who are these guys? Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where it don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? Holy shit! What the fuck? Was, was this guy Dang. trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Wow, okay, uh... Okay, so return home. I gotta return home. 
Listen, I hate to suggest this, but I think we might need to, you know, borrow that dead guy's oh. head boots, you know, to, just to climb out of here. Oh, that's what we gotta get? Okay. Ooh, a lot of people think of magnet boots are short of magnetic boots because they have magnet on their soles and you can use them to walk on magnetic surface. Well, those people are right. That's exactly what it stands for. No twist here. Congratulations. Congrat. Oh my God. I can't, I can't speak. Congratulations to those smart people who knew what is what. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You can totally take those mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are going to be very useful, and, and they're the only way out of here. Well, you know? Hey, Time fall. All right. Boots. You're making good use of those mag boots. You're using those things. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Let's not waste our time with those assholes. You know, it makes me so happy every time you walk by me. I just have to tell you. P O O B U S. It's not a good name. But nothing about this show is good, so, uh, don't know why you would have expected it to be good. I'm just gonna stand here for a little bit.
Okay. You guys again? How are you? Dick? We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Oh, uh, yeah, we're friends with him. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Again. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt on Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's, let's go talk to Clug. Uh, I still find him suspicious. Welcome wow, back. that's Thank the fastest so reload ever. Yeah, they've been wow. aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we that's what we want to do, you know, but uh, it's just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh, no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just <laughs> kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, it, we it will do our me. best. Are dead? You better. Oh, that's right. Oh my god. Find us that fucking Doctor Giblets piece of shit. Hey, it's me. I'm Jimmy Goofs. Welcome to another prank call show with me, the Goofster. Let's let's get our first prank caller on the line. Okay. Ring, 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 ring. Hello. Hi. I can't. Who is this? It's me, Jim Goofster. I'm the prank caller. Oh, uh. Um, so you're prank calling me? Bingo, buddy, bingo. What, 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 is your refrigerator going nuts over there? Is it what? Is your refrigerator going nuts? What do you mean? <laughs> what are you asking me? Is my refrigerator going nuts? Oh, shoot. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Oh, it's just like, is it sparking? Is it, is it falling apart? Is the door off the hinges? No, it's... <laughs> my fridge is fine, man. Okay, whoops. Hanging up now. Whoa, all right, Whoa. click. That was not a good one. Let's try one more silly prank phone call. Here we go. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> Hey, who's this? That's it's me, Jimmy. Okay. Wow, that took a hot three minutes.
whoa, it looks like things have developed in a sort of weird way over here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Walk on that. Hold on. Yes, I can. There's a hyper ball that can't smoke him. All right, if he's sm if he starts smoking you, you gotta run. Thank God! Thank God! So much! Wow! I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. oh my God! What, what, what happened? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right. Was and uh, well, well, it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A G G3 base? Oh my God! It was probably Doctor Giblets. Oh God! Oh God! I'm fading fast. Please, 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 just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Okay, hang in there. Hang in yeah, there. We'll, hang we'll in stay there. with you as long hang as it there. takes. No, no. It's my time to go. Oh, thank you for for staying with me as I die. Oh, just just don't leave. Okay, and I feel it. Here I go. Oh, I'm I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. Wow. Fuck! That rips my heart out. Uh, well. Hey, 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 where, where are you guys? Bruh, you, if you, you don't die. Hey, hey, bro. Bruh, die. Just die. 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 Just die. Oh my god. a really annoying horse with a broken leg. You, you know? It, it, oh do you understand? God. Is there an equivalent to broken leg? You, you following here? Oh my goodness. Just eating your stuff, right? Okay, so is this Dr. Giblets' base? Where, where the hell is he? Oh, well, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Jesus Christ! Okay, okay, fine! Ooh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's great for us detectives, because we need a good mystery. Looks like your typical work desk. Nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is... Someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments? I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. A destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there. That's what they're used for. That's what drones are for. They're for combat. That's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what? That makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you. That's what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. 
Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. Oh, all right then, let's, let's keep moving. Wow, uh, oh shit, whole, sorry, um, wrong okay. bit, wrong bit. I mean, how do they are detectives? Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. These must be old hyperbong prototypes, way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out, now we can move on to the next thing. drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms, but we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door! Next door, next door, next door, next door, next door. Alright, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go, go find more clues, baby! Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place He's trophies jealous. for science? So Jeez, it looks first. like Dr. Dibbles was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. So I got first and he didn't. Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. A regular old Gatlian doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha! So that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful. Did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows? Let's find out. Okay, I think we great. finally cracked this case. 
Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait, so we didn't have to find any of those clues? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much I didn't want Bruh, you to stop using oh it. My, now go okay. kill Dr. Giblets. Can I get that gun? What's going down? Hold up, hold up. You alive? Oh, never mind. In the end, Dr. Giblets took the easy way out. A little disappointing because I was looking forward what? to a find. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, what? let me add in. <laughs> what? What kind of crap was that? What was that? Dr. Giblet status report. No life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. he, just, he actually died. Hello! If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. Another ambush. That's detective okay. life for you. So many ambushes. Audio recordings. I'm afraid you can go over time. 
I think that's probably it. You're still alive. You can't be Krubus. Krubus was too weak. That would have killed him. No, no, you must be someone else. But who is it? Who killed me? Was it you, Douglas? You never told me your last name. Now he thinks it was Douglas? I ain't Douglas Mike. Douglas, you always were unpredictable. Your relentless party habits always landed you in hot water, but perhaps you wish to strike back against our leader by killing a prime scientist, me! That would surely hurt his feelings. But it was a mistake to just walk out of your life! Forgive me for making you go through all of that. Yep, yep, yep. You can leave now. Have a good day. Giblets out. R.I.P. Giblets. Wow. Okay. Good. 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 Good work. Uh, I think we can get back out through the trap door now. Trap door. 
Oh, that was easy, Donnie. As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than I ever could have expected. Initially, I saw great potential in both the Fergals and the Gatlians. But now, I see how foolish I was. Those were nothing but dead ends. Humans, however... Humans are going to change everything. God damn, what the fuck was the G3 doing with this guy? Oh, can I get this guy? Oh, uh, yeah, well, you know, is he even alive? Uh, you know what? L -l let's take him back to Gene. Gene knows. He can fix, get him all fixed up. I just wanted to say, you know, today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up, so see you later. Bye. Bye, bye. Oh, thank God! Okay, Bounty Hunter, you go through the menus! You find that detective mode, you shut it the fuck! Woo! 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 Let's go. Whoa! Oh, look at that! You found that the giblets all by yourself! See? It's not so easy for- Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit! That's great. I I I I don't know about that. I mean, he he's he's not really functional. I don't I don't I don't, I don't think yeah. he's dead. But oh, god damn. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? He's throwing on the table. Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay. Th th thanks, Gene. But, you know, if, if it can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing! I-I-I-I-I-I I, I, I was being shitty. You didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Yeah. Okay, come on over. All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right, which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? I feel like both of them want the bad news. Scourge, give me bad All right. news. Here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her, but, uh... I just realized you know, that. We haven't seen her in so long. look into it, since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. Hey, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. Wow, okay. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, it was pretty embarrassing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh... I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just here. you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite, uh, you and I, our best pals. So we gotta leave our other guys here? How, how we do that? I, I don't know how to do that. Uh... Okay, listen, just, just, it's easy. Put the other Gatlians down next to Gene, and let's get out of here, look for Lizzie, and have a chat. Oh, sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Right, see you later. Take a little nappy poop. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, change the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll uh -huh. hold down the fort. All right, bounty hunter, let's head to Applebee's and we're, let's uh -huh. find your sister. Look at us, just you and me again, right, you know, just it. like old times, like the dream team, you know? Uh, so Applebee's, it's in the slums, which you, you know, you, you probably knew that. So your suit can point us in the right direction. So you take the lead, bounty hunter. You, you, you know, we'll talk with, you know, we'll, we'll, we're going to, we're, we're going to chat. It's going to be good. It's going to, it's all good. Don't worry about this. Don't get shooken up about the, I don't, I, there's no reason to be, uh, you know, d don't feel weird or anything. I'm not trying, you know what I mean? Kind of exciting, All right. You know, maybe we got to find it. Hey, listen, I'm sorry about being.